Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it is almost the end of January now and I feel like this year is just absolutely flying past already and I think that is just the way the days are going at the minute. It's just a lot of stuff to do and for me personally, having started a business and someone who's kind of just always changing things or traveling and everything, it just feels like time is disappearing right in front of our eyes. But if you've been following me for a while or if you're new here, hello, I'm Emma and I do lifestyle and home kind of videos, a lot of organization and things like that. And this video specifically, I really wanted to do some Amazon favorites. And if you're Australian like me, you probably see all of the Americans shopping at Amazon and getting Amazon deliveries all the time. And I felt so disconnected from that for the longest time because we just do not use Amazon and it's relatively new here. And initially I kind of found the website really clunky to use, but now I've kind of gotten used to it and I really have to say it is quite addictive for finding some really great things in terms of homewares and travel accessories and makeup, even skincare and things like that as well. So I have a huge pile here next to me and I thought I would just work my way through it and show you everything that I found on Amazon and that is all delivered either within Australia or it's come from somewhere and it hasn't taken a terribly long time to get here. So that's kind of my list and I thought I would show you that. So everything that I have in this video is linked on my Amazon storefront which is in the description box down below just to make shopping a little bit easier for you because I know sometimes people will see something in the background of a video and I thought you know what if I just link everything it will make it so much easier for you to shop there and of course just to be completely transparent those are affiliate links so if you do end up buying something and shopping through there I'll get a small percentage off the sales so let's go and I'm gonna start with my beautiful pillows that are behind me. I actually did talk about these in a previous day in the life video and I actually used the pillows that I already had which were in an existing case so it just came with the two pillow cases and they're this beautiful white faux fur. They're incredibly soft and I really liked the linear sort of pattern. I just feel like it adds a little bit of something and I get so many compliments on these pillowcases from every single person who comes to my house. So I thought I would show you that as the first item because it's been one of my favorite Amazon finds. Next up, if you're into any content creation or you're a UGC creator like me, this one will be very handy. But this tripod in general is just great for anybody wanting to capture any kind of content because you can always use a tripod and better still one that is travel friendly and really small. So you can capture all of your memories, whether it's like a family event or you just want to get a selfie timer kind of photo of you somewhere doing something then I would highly recommend this it did come in a few different colors so I got mine in white and it's got a little remote control on the front here that you can detach and you can use that separately to kind of activate the camera shutter so it really really is very handy I would say overall this is under 30 centimeters in size and it doesn't weigh much at all maybe just like 200 grams or something and i've taken this literally all around the world with me last year i took it to america to mexico to egypt and it was so handy for doing videos but one of the best things is it's got a push button on the bottom here and this tripod in particular came in a few sizes but if you are tall like me this one is the best one for you so it opens up like this and you can just slot your phone straight in this way or you can twist it and sorry you can twist it like this to have the phone either portrait or landscape and then you can kind of just pull up this adjustable top to fit in your phone so this one in particular why i wanted it is because it is telescopic and it's going to be so hard for me to show you because it probably won't end up fitting on screen but it is 180 centimeters tall so this one is as tall as me and it means that I'm able to use it for getting any kind of content because I can actually stand and it is tall enough. So highly recommend this. I think it was around about $45 or $50, which is an absolute steal for the quality that it is. Next up is another homewares item. And I'm definitely a fan of upgrading ordinary items around the home to make it much more aesthetic and kind of fit in with the entire vibe of your space. So obviously mine is quite minimal. I have a lot of white, grays, beiges, that kind of thing within my house. And that to me just means that I can seasonally change up my space and it just feels really decluttered because it is kind of all light and airy but 
This is a cute little tissue box cover. So it's actually in a faux leather and it's kind of got this gridded pattern and the stitching on it. So I would honestly say this looks a lot more expensive than it is. And all you do is you just pull open the bottom here and load in your tissues. So you can go and buy your classic $1 box of tissues down at the supermarket and throw that in the bin and cover it in this instead. And I just think this looks so much better than a kind of ugly box of tissues sitting on your counter. And there was a bunch of different ones like this as well. There was a mirrored version and I almost bought that, but then I just thought mirrored stuff and fingerprints can kind of drive me crazy. But if you were into that, it looked really beautiful as well. Something else I wanted to upgrade were a few ordinary items around my kitchen and I started off with this sprayer bottle. So this is actually a glass bottle, which is really good quality and it came with a replacement spray nozzle as well in case this one gets damaged or worn out in any way. So that was a really good inclusion. It's got this white kind of grippy bottom to it and I just thought this was a great way to have my cleaning products out on my counter so I can easily access them, but without having, again, an ugly cleaning product bottle. And I use some sustainable ones as well, so it makes it easier for me to sort of refill them or even make your own if you just wanted to use some cleaning product that is sanitizing and maybe a few drops of eucalyptus oil or something really nice in there. But yeah, I just thought this was a very handy little upgrade. Next up are some productivity items that I keep over on my desk. And the one that I get the most questions about is this, which is a little Pomodoro timer. They also can be called tomato timers. And basically it is a timing technique about getting tasks done. So this one in particular has 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. And on the bottom of it is a little button which activates the timer and then it starts counting down. So you just kind of flip it to whichever side you wanna use and activate the timer and you can then go ahead do your task and the reason why I really like this is because it's not the timer on my phone and the whole point of me trying to task block and get things done is that I'm not looking at my phone so whenever I've kind of set a timer on my phone it means my phone is probably still near me it might have notifications on and it's genuinely just going to distract me from whatever it is that I need to do so I use the 15 minute one a lot for when my house is completely out of control so I can just commit to cleaning as much as I physically can within 15 minutes and Sometimes I will use the 60 minute one for work blocks or half an hour for a very specific task. And I just find it really helpful if you are someone who really procrastinates and struggles to get things started. Next up is this little cleaning device. And I saw these everywhere on TikTok. So you better believe I was influenced to buy one. So it comes in a little plastic case. And if you just slide it out, it's just a small spray container. And I've actually just filled mine with again, a sanitizing spray and the outside of this little unit is wrapped in a bit of a cloth. So you can just spray your phone like this and then you use the exact same little unit to wipe it down. And this just kind of cleans off your whole surface. It actually gives a really good finish. And I've been using this every single day to keep my phone really clean because of course, if you're holding it up to your ear, you're bound to get makeup on it or just even cause yourself some skin problems by having a dirty surface. So I've actually really been enjoying this little item and it wasn't expensive at all. Next up is this seven in one desk cleaning tool. And this has so many different little attachments for cleaning all of your tech devices. So I keep this one in the drawer of my computer and I reach for this almost every single day because I've been really been making a conscious effort to keep my space clean, especially because I work for myself now. So I'm spending a lot of time at my home office and and out and about using my laptop. So I just wanted to have something super compact that I could use to clean the space. So basically it's got this little top that you can slide off, but the first part of this tool is a brush. So it just has a little side part here that you can push up and it releases this little brush. And I use this to clean all of my keyboards and any of those kind of hard to reach spaces on a computer. It's a very soft bristle little brush. And again, you just slide this down to pop it away. On the back of this tool, it also has some of that same material as the other cleaner as well. So you could definitely use the spray and then use this as a quick cleaning tool to make sure your screen is really clean because I am definitely a person who touches my screen all the time. I'm an architect and an interior designer, so I've usually got floor plans or something on my screen and I really do need to invest in an iPad that's actually touch screen because the amount of times I forget and I'm touching plans on the screen showing a client and I leave a meeting and I've got fingerprints everywhere is crazy. So this is a very cool part of the tool. And the other portions of it are 
some little cleaners. So there's lots of different little attachments here. This one is probably my favorite. It is a kind of like headphone and speaker cleaner. So it's got a little bit of a brush on the attachment and a little tool there. And then this side is kind of like a fuzzy brush attachment. So I think these are really handy if you needed to clean like your AirPods or something like that. And the last little thing that's in here is a mini spray bottle. So again, this already came full and it has a little sanitizing product in there. And that just means you're gonna be able to clean all of your devices on the go. And all you have to carry around is this tiny little device. So I actually thought this is one of the handiest and most functional things I've found. Now for a couple of beauty and travel items because I am actually heading off on a short trip next week and I have been really wanting to upgrade everything that I take away with me when I travel just so it's more functional and it makes more sense. So the first thing I got is actually this little silicon beauty blender holder and I just think this is such a good idea because beauty blenders do get a little bit dirty over time and the last thing you need is that rolling around in your makeup bag making everything else dirty if it's got foundation or something on it and this is breathable as well so it still lets your foam sponge get the airflow that it needs but it just kind of easily slots together like this so it's kind of just like a little egg that you can pop into your makeup bag next item is a little bit of hair care and if you are someone like me who has long hair although my hair is clipped up today then you're probably wanting to take care of your hair as much as you possibly can and one of the items that I really wanted was some little silk scrunchies and just in some beautiful neutral colors so this one was a pack of three it came with black brown and cream and I really like the brown and cream the brown because it matches my hair and the cream just for a beautiful neutral color and I think these are really good whether you're traveling or not just so if you need to tie your hair up of an evening or if you're on the go instead of just throwing in an elastic or something that could cause any split ends I'm trying to use these beautiful little scrunchies instead speaking of hair care I also wanted to find a little travel comb and this is definitely the cutest one that I could find it's also definitely passing the aesthetic test in terms of matching Matching everything in my bag and it's from a brand called RHOS and it's just a little brown colored tiny little comb and it's a soft pad paddle brush sort of style so this is perfect yet again just for giving your hair a little bit of a tidy up on the go and it's perfect pocket size if you want to take it out in your handbag as well this next thing is probably one of my favorite finds recently and it's a little vitamin container so I'm usually the kind of person that gets a bit scared to throw my vitamins in a random container if I'm traveling internationally I like to keep them in the box that they came in but in this case I'm just traveling domestically so I thought this was a really great idea for taking all of my daily vitamins it is a cute little beige case and it's just got a clip here so you can untap that this way and it just folds open. It also comes with a little pill crusher. It kind of looks like a guitar pick, so it confused me at first. I was wondering what it was, but this bottom section here has six different compartments and then there is a larger compartment here on the top side. So this could actually be really handy if you needed to take like magnesium powder or a serving of protein powder or something. You could probably clip that into this larger top section and this bottom section here would allow for six days of taking a couple of your tablets as well two more items left to show you but this one is probably my favorite from the entire shop that I did and it's a little toothpick dispenser so this is fantastic for traveling but it's also great for just having in your handbag day to day so I thought this was so good that I ended up buying two and giving one to my partner already and he was absolutely stoked because he's currently in the middle of doing Invisalign so being able to take some toothpicks and I've got him a little travel toothbrush and everything means that he's able to kind of take care of his teeth on the go but I just think this is really handy yet again it's a beautiful little white fluted looking case and it also came with about 50 pieces of dental floss as backups to fill when this runs out so the little cartridge itself fits 10 picks in at one time and all you have to do is press on the little buttons and it slides ones out for you so I thought this was absolutely brilliant and definitely a good handbag essential Last but not least, I also wanted to get a couple of packing cubes. So my suitcase is from the brand July and it's in a beautiful kind of beige color. So I just wanted to find some packing cubes that would match with that, but also be better quality than the current ones that I have because I had a set of packing cubes. I think they were just from Kmart and they really did fall apart because the zips on them were really weak. So it was on my list to just do a little bit of a shop and find something else. And I believe this is four pieces. I haven't opened it up yet, so you'll get my reaction same time but 
Basically, there is a number of packing cubes in here and these are also expandable ones as well. So you're able to make them as large and small as you want, depending on how many things are put in there. And I just thought that was a really great idea because I love packing cubes. I think they're a real game changer for organizing your suitcase. So these come in a few different sizes. This one's a little bit more of a medium size and it also does have a handle on it as well. So I will usually roll all of my clothing and put it into packing cubes like that. I'll have swimwear, underwear, like t-shirts, dresses, shorts, whatever. And I might even end up buying a second pack of these if they are good. I'm gonna use them in my bag for the upcoming trip, but I just think these are absolutely perfect. And yes, I probably will buy another set of them actually, because they just look really good quality. The zips and everything are a lot better. The material is a lot sturdier than my old ones. And having the handle is really great as well, because even if you had to run off to a bathroom somewhere, you'd be able to deal with that too. So it was a four pack and yeah, I think I might actually go back and get one more pack of those. So I've got enough to do a full suitcase pack for any upcoming overseas holidays. That is everything that I found in my Amazon haul. I hope you guys found this really interesting because I've just really been enjoying shopping on there. I think there are a lot of new and different kind of things that I wouldn't have necessarily thought of, like the toothpick holder or the little travel brushes and all those kinds of things. And like I said, there's actually just some great quality items on there as well, like the packing cubes and any of the kind of home decor things that I found. And I think it just really like adds something to your home or to your everyday handbag essentials to have those items because not only are they great quality, but they're just a little bit different than what you're seeing in all of the mainstream stores. So it makes your house a little bit more unique, just like you. And I really enjoyed doing this little haul for you guys. So as I said at the start, I've got everything linked in my Amazon storefront, which is in the description box down below. But comment and let me know what your favorite item is or if you've been shopping on Amazon too, because I do still feel like it is quite new in Australia, but I'm really embracing it because I actually just really like the selections on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out as a small creator and I'm edging ever closer to the 15K. So fingers crossed we get there really soon, but have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.